Welcome back to Jay Plays Indie Games. This is going to be how to beat the Rock Garden. Now, this is the beginning of my series on the second tier of hard dungeons. The first tier of hard dungeons include the Grimm's Grotto here and the Double Doom. These are the easiest hard dungeons. They don't really have anything special about them so much, except that they have higher monster stats than your regular normal dungeons. The second tier of hard dungeons are a completely different story. And Rock Garden is going to be your first dungeon where you encounter three bosses. Uh, one of which has very high magic resistance, one of which has very high physical resistance, and one of which is completely random. So, what do I recommend for this place? Let's uh, Unlikely Heroes, Monk Assassin. No, we're not going to use either of those. Okay, so what do I recommend for fighting this? Versatility. And the versatility I recommend comes in the form of the Sorcerer. By having a sorcerer, you're going to be able to do the things you need to do to make this dungeon work. So, we're going with a sorcerer, and the best sorcerer I can recommend for it would either be a gnome or an elf. We're going to go elf. Elven sorcerer is nice. Um, with an elven sorcerer, since we're going high mana, I would recommend the elven boots or the fine sword, whichever one you have. Fine Sword offers actually more physical ability, therefore more versatility. You will have a high magic resist enemy to deal with. Elven Boots will offer higher initial ability. Since you have 15 starting mana, Elven Boots gives you magic resistance, but it also gives you three fireballs to start with. So, yeah, real, real useful. Um, since you're going into second tier hard dungeons, I would assume you already had access to the Elven Boots sub dungeon, so I'm going to go with the Elven Boots. If you don't go with the Elven Boots, go with the Fine Sword instead, or even the Hero's Helm. Hero's Helm is fairly nice, but it doesn't give you the three. Uh, the three mana, which is very good. I'm also going to Magnet Fireball. Um, Flame Magnet goes very well with Elven Boots. You get the three Fireballs going on. Now, I'm personally going to bet on boss. If you're having trouble with the dungeon, I recommend using the Black Market. I'm not going to use this other stuff. Well, I will use Pressure Branch Badge. I'm not going to use anything else, though, uh, just because I don't know what you've unlocked yet, and I don't want to mess with it too much. Witchlock Pendant, also probably a good idea. A uh, good possibility. If you can't, if you don't have the Elven Boots, uh, Witchlock Pendant would also work very well with a Sorcerer in this particular dungeon. All right, so let's play Elven Sorcerer in the Rock Garden. Okay, so we've got Burnderaz right to start with. We're going to begin our explorations. I don't know why there's a creeper there, but uh, level ones all around. It's fine. We've got 18 mana to start with. Here's our first boss. Seeking two brothers, one of stone, one of earth, yeah, yeah, yeah. This guy has magic resist 75%. He's going to be our tricky boss because we are kind of ma magic focused. Um, the other guy who's going to have physical resist 75% won't be as big of a problem most likely. Pissorf, great for dealing with magic resist guys using magic, so keep that in mind. We'll probably be using Pissorf at some point, um, but I'm going to leave it on the ground for now. What's in this passage? I tend to leave those until I actually need some exploration, so we're going to. Hero's Helm uh, would bring me up to 20 mana and increase my hit points and damage all right to start with, so that's pretty nice. Um, this has actually been a good start. If I can run across a, an enemy that's worth killing, that is. Pissorf might be the thing to get around this dungeon. Oops, that was a complete and total accident. Ignore the fact that it happened. These magic immune enemies are everywhere. Uh, Dracul is here. Uh, we'll talk a bit about Dracul, but I probably won't actually end up watching him. Sidestep. Fantastic. Use it once. Uh, my typical recommendation with Sidestep is to use it once and get rid of it. But since we have 20 freaking mana, no reason not to, to hang on to it at least for now. Okay, we don't want to get mana burned. So we're, we're working our way around here. This is getting kind of annoying. Um, okay. Well, that's magic immune. That's not. These magic immune plants everywhere are kind of... Does Pissorf work on magic immune plants? We're about to find out. They do not. It does not. Okay. Just checking. We are going to Pissorf this guy and not kill him and continue our exploring. What a fight. Very good. So what we're going to do is we're going to get rid of sidestep and that's going to increase our mana a little bit and we're going to pick up wanna fight 
and that'll hopefully clear out our path a little bit. We can cast it four times without needing to recharge. Uh, Dracul is here, which is pretty fantastic. And we're looking for a level two enemy, kind of anywhere we can find one. Uh, yeah, we'll summon here a couple times, and we can go over here and do another summon. That guy's a little bit resistant. Okay. We still have Piss Orb, so we can move this plant out of our way. Since it's not a magic immune plant. Very nice, so we, got, we were able to get around it. And around that one, but it didn't really lead anywhere, unfortunately. Um, piss Orb him into a wall. Would open up that wall. Once again, a little unfortunate that that's corrosion right there. Level 3 enemy. We can actually kill this guy, though, so yeah, that's going to happen. Spoon. Move you. Okay, so Torog's up there, and we have a level 3 cowardly fast regen enemy. Uh, he does 12 damage. He has knockback. It does leave me safe, but if we go here, you'll notice he does less damage because of his knockback. We can just hit him once, like so. It knocks us back. His cowardly ways didn't really bother us, and now we can fireball our way back to full health. Come back here. We can hit him again from this angle to take less damage. And we can fireball him again for full health, and hit him again for victory. Took a bit to find a level 3 enemy there. And now level 2's have shown up kind of all over the place, but that's fine. Um, we'll be summoning them up, actually. Or we could probably take on this guy now. Yep, yeah, let's try taking on this guy now. So hit once, a fireball, and a fireball. Hit him again. And we can get a fireball off, like so. And I could barely win right now, or I could just do a little bit of exploring, if there is any exploration available. He does 25 damage. I'm pretty close to that. Uh, he's only got 8 health. I've got 14. If I kill this guy, I'll have some exploration. I don't want to go this way. So I'll kill this guy, which pops off his burning, unfortunately. Don't like that. And that worked poorly. So, but now I'm safe to hit him. And I can explore one more tile. Come back up here, be safe to hit him. And my fireball will kill him. Perfect. I'm level three. Level three enemies kind of popping up everywhere, which is good. Uh, I could summon them up, which might be the smart thing to do. Hmm. Yes, I will summon up my level three enemies. Looks like I've got uh, some magic resistant ones all over the place. Huh. Now I don't want to take mana burn. So what I'm going to do here... Can't fight you yet at all. Mr. 75 damage. I, I think I'm going to take a layer of corrosion here. I don't want to. I'm going to push you back. But uh, this will get me access to Torog, and I've got a layer of corrosion on me. I don't like that, but it happened, and I'm not going to complain too much. Okay, this guy. Level 6. This guy, level 6. Um, I could fireball either of them to death, most likely. Let's go after the Wraith, though. Seems appropriate. So three fireballs on the Wraith, and a kill will level me up. Very nice. And I can do the same for this guy, except this guy I attack first, then fireball. So that uh, my health goes up as I'm attacking, and my fireballs, and there we go. And we're almost to level 5, which is nice. Troll Heart would have been very useful earlier. I can go here and summon a couple times, or at least just once. More of these annoying creepers, but we can piss off them, kind of get keep them out of our way, and move around them. Health Potion. Very nice. So, I'm going to be taking a little bit more corrosion, it looks like. It's not the best, but whatever. Next time I'm about to level up, one of the things I should definitely do is kill off all these mono burn plants. But we're taking this layer of corrosion on the chin. We're going to explore there and here. Pick this up. Piss off this at an angle there. Piss off this guy as well. And we're going to find our other bosses. So, uh, one of Earth, one of Stone Man. This guy is physical resistant, so it's going to be a long time before I can actually go after him easily. 
And that's the only one I found. So there's still another boss out there. Um, this guy. I can probably kill. This guy, maybe. I've got three fireballs. One, two, three. And my regular attack does quite a bit of damage, actually. Um, I'll risk it. I don't want to sit there and do math. So fireball, fireball, fireball. And I'm very close. So if I regenerate three tiles, come back, fireball him again, no. So I'm not going to go after that one. Gob is my other enemy. That's fine. In fact, he might be a good idea to go after last, I think. So 22. Um, let's see here. I'm not using Wanna Fight very much anymore, so I'm going to convert that to get myself up to 23. Badge of Honor, probably very useful. Uh... I'd like to run into one more mana, in all honesty. But what we're going to do is we're going to go after this level 7 right here. Uh, or this level 8. Yeah, I, I'm going to go after this level 8. So fireball, fireball, fireball. And now that I have 23 mana total, I can just explore a single tile. Fireball them again, and this attack levels me up. I don't really have to deal with anything negative. Now I have 65 health. Unfortunately, these guys do 75 damage, so it's not time to attack them just yet. I'm going to wait until level 6 when I have the health for it. Um, most likely I'll have the health for it then anyway. Well, actually, if I purchase that tower shield, I will, which is fine. Okay. And go up here. And you are magic resistant. Whereas you are physical resistant. So I could also go after this guy with fireballs now. Um, seems like an appropriate concept, actually. I'm going to piss off you. So I have access over here. Very nice. And I could probably kill you as well. So I might want to try that. Let's check out my fireballing. One, two, three. And then if I explore a single tile, fireball you again. And yes, this will put me up to level 6. Very nice. And lots of enemies around, which is good. 77 health total, which is excellent, which because it means I can start on this guy. As well as this guy. I prefer to fight these two bosses kind of at the same time. Since your resources are divided a little bit between them. How do we approach this? We start uh, killing enemies. Getting ourselves close to leveling up. So this goo blob will be first. Hit. And you'll note the fireballs heal us up so that we can win very easily. Now I'm only five away from leveling up, which is very easy to do. And like that, so I'm only one away from leveling up. I just need to regenerate. Like so, and I'm going to grab that for the little bit of extra damage. And yes, that's all that I really needed. So I'm going to hit this guy one time. I'm going to come down here, hit this guy many times. Very nice. And I've actually built up a fair amount of health that I could use. But I don't see how I could use it very effectively. So what I'm going to do instead is I'm going to explore a single tile. Get my next fireball off on this guy. 65 health is not enough to take a hit, unfortunately. If I can get 10 more health. Um, but it's not going to happen. Well, it would be a good use of a health potion, I guess. But I'm not going to do it that way. I'm just going to go ahead and level. And I'm kind of fighting both of these guys at once, so I'm going to get this hit off and come down here and get my fireballs going. Like so. Um, is there a place where I can explore a single tile? Yes, there is, right there. And I will fireball you again. And now I could kill you, I think. Uh, I can get a safe hit on you, which is fine. And... Let's see, should we try and force another level up would be a bit difficult, I think. Um, it would be. I don't think it's possible, but I'm going to try anyway. To force another level up so we don't have to use potions so much. Uh, anything that says win and not barely win is doable. I could sit there and count up how much experience is actually available, but I am slightly too lazy for that. It's going to be close... 29, uh, 33, and 35. Yes, we got another level up, which is nice. 
means I can get another hit on this guy. I can come down here and I get more fireballs going. And then I can come up here and actually fireball at this guy. But why would I do that? He's got 75% physical resistance. So instead of fireballing him, I'm going to fireball this guy. Fireball and single tile of exploration anywhere. I don't see one, but it's okay. I can just go ahead and kill this. All right. So I'm going to sell that and that for glorious amounts of gold. And if I kind of have a choice here between two options. I can go after him directly now and go for Faithless, or I can go to Dracul and get Feeling Parched. I'm going to go for Faithless because sometimes I have more trouble with it than I do Feeling Parched. Um, kind of close to leveling up. Can I kill this guy in one hit? Yeah, 35. What about you? No. Um, would I be able to level up again? I would if I had a little bit more health than I do. Uh, 33 of 40, so let's let's get that extra health, actually. 21. You do 33 damage. It's worth leveling up to, uh, to save my potions. So win puts me at 39. And I'll explore up here. Oh, a little bit of extra health is nice. Pendant of health is nice. And uh, there we go. And we can kill this guy for the level up. To nine, but we don't need to yet. Um, we can get our fireballs going. One, two, and I can actually get a hit off here, which is pretty nice. And fireball, I might be able to maintain both. Win, like that, and I might be able to be both parched and uh, faithless, which is nice. I didn't think I'd be able to do that. And barely win. There we go. And see how you kind of can divide your attention between bosses? Since this guy's taking like 75% resistance from one attack, I'll use those attacks on this guy, and this guy's taking the other 75%. So I use those attacks on this guy. You just split it up and use your resources appropriately. I can exit here, and that's an easy way to beat the uh, Rock Garden. Of course, you would have more resources than I did going into it the same way. You would have your gods, for instance. You have your potions you can use. So you should be able to beat that fairly easily using the same approach. An Elven Sorcerer there is pretty good. One thing I didn't do that you might want to do during that run is right before leveling up, destroy all those mono burn plants. It'll, uh, it'll open up some exploration for you pretty nicely. Alright, I'm going to continue here. Desktop Dungeons Trophy sold. Yay. 225 gold for me. Alright guys, thanks for watching.